my grandmother, my mom, my three aunts, my best friend Danny, my two cousins, and me. Everybody knows somebody that has had it. When I got that call and they were telling me I was going to have to come in, I knew deep down that it was cancer. My first thoughts when I first heard was I was afraid I was not going to be able to see my grandchildren grow. Breast cancer has impacted my life in so many different ways. It surrounds my history. Um, I think about it for my future, um, my girl's future. Before my mom was diagnosed, it was, it was too far away. It, it didn't affect you until it's right there. It changes people's lives. It changes the way you think about your life. It could be taken away in a second. And your loved ones could be gone. Then when they finally went ahead and did the surgery and they were able to come back and tell me I was cancer free, it was an elation. I mean, it was like a celebration. The first question my eight-year-old asked me was, are you going to be okay? And I told her, yes, I am cancer free. I'm going to be just fine. And all she said was good. And then she gave me a hug. The women in my life are so amazing. They're so strong. Finding your strength is sometimes the strength behind you from other people cheering you on. I think it's uh, very important that the modern technology was there. To be able to catch it as early as they did is what helped me survive this. If they can find a cure for it, that would be a miracle for many, many people. Have that hope, be positive, have the support system behind you, talk to your support system. Just be hopeful, be, be positive that things are gonna be okay. No matter what the cancer does to your body, you'll never lose the light inside. Find the hope that you need to continue battling. And your positive attitude is one of the most important parts of healing with cancer.